This is Atomic Brando making his first introduction into the world. I went on a journey and I found something. I was looking for something. Obviously, I've completely cracked up, and they may be coming any minute for me, but with the short time we have left, perhaps we can have a little discussion. Ooh. Here in my garden, the garden of Atomic Brando. Hello, 99. You're very sweet. Sorry to play so rough, but now we're friends, so it's all good. You've given me some inspiration. I just happened to have a wizard's hat laying around and my hair went white and I figured, why the hell not? What am I doing? Let's make a video. Let's be silly. Anyway. We aren't going to mention philosophy at all. <clears throat> We're not going to talk about God. Uh, what is God? Who is God? All I can do is talk about Atomic Brando, who I am in the world, what it feels like to be me. What else can anyone speak of? What else can anyone say other than to describe who they are and what it's like to be them? Instead, we set up towers of knowledge and wisdom and intellect, and we do battle, seeing which tower will be left standing. Well, it is not in the winning of the war that we earn our prize. But I would say it is in the giving up the fight. <clears throat> when I meet resistance, in my life now, I stop. What am I doing? This is a part of the inner experience of the moment that I feel that I can share with you. Right here, right now, Atomic Brando my, and his garden, the wind blowing. Some snapdragons, some new bougainvillea that's really taking off. I love the bright red. I guess raspberry leaves, colored leaves. The grapes are going insane. We watered them this year and I don't even know what this vine is. It's a monster. <laughs> And then we had a 
explosion from the the aloe plant it shot up some beautiful flowers that hummingbirds would come and eat at all day and then the ends dropped seed pods <laughs> after they'd been fertilized that was amazing The daylilies have just begun to to come out. I've waited two years for these to sprout to uh, flower again, and uh, they're very beautiful. And they come out for a few days, and then they fall off. I don't know. Probably going to get about. I'm not sure how many, but probably 40, 30 or 40. Day lilies. Little dancing icicles up and down my spine. I feel the warm breath filling my lungs. I feel the hat band of Atomic Brando's hat on his head. I feel his hair falling across his face. I'm both things here now. I'm very wise. I have a wizard hat which means I'm very wise. I also have white hair, which means I'm extra wise. So now that I have said mystical things, impressed you with my wisdom, why, why am I speaking to you today? So. It felt like a fun thing to do. You know, all of the journeys that have led me to Atomic Brando, all the paths, all the walking, all the sitting, all the crying, all the yelling, all the screaming, all the dancing, I've only come across two truths. And I'll give them to you for free the one or two that may watch this silly video. This hair tastes very bad. <laughs> but... It's very simple for me. Follow your heart and have fun. How could life have become so simple? How could How could that be what it means? How can there be something here? The question one asks is, who am I? Obviously, I'm this maybe even in drag. <laughs> you can be and do anything you want to here. 
by yourself, maybe, within the company of others in a social setting. You have to conform to norms and rules, perhaps, or perhaps you recognize none. I believe we have to be anarchists, personal anarchists, before we can walk upon the earth as we were meant to, maybe. We have to realize that the reflection in the pool is just that. And then we ask ourselves the deeper questions that lead to no questions, no more answers, no more questions, and a pile of ashes behind where you thought you were. And then you have to do that every day. I think they finally found me. They're coming for me. Perhaps I will live yet another day. So, <clears throat> Atomic Brando knows a smelly goat. That's his name, smelly goat. They're friends. They meet sometimes. Atomic Brando, just, I've just met him, and he's uh, quite a weirdo, as you can see. But um, who cares? I'm speaking to the smelly goat and saying, you took your inner journey. You found an inner journey. And you walked it in public out loud. And you stripped yourself nine kinds of naked to bear, to bone. Some ran. Some didn't care. Some came close. But what we've learned and what we could suggest is that we meet all where they are on the, their own journeys and their lives. We don't judge them. We accept them as they are. We encourage where we can. Maybe we challenge, but we don't push. When they push, we pull. When they pull, we give. So, a smelly goat is not here right now, but I will say for him that there are several others here who make one. Just like there's a world who makes all together, makes a one. And who we are now is who we are, here. There was just a little, a little bug, must have been a millimeter long, that landed on the iPhone camera, almost near the camera. Atomic, Brando uses an iPhone, for the record. It's a nice piece of tech. Anyway, the small little insect then just landed on my tech, and then it flew away. Did it have any idea what was happening? The fields of energy and radio signals that were coming off of the device and the flat glass it was landing on, it knew nothing of that world and that device. What are we? Where are we? How are we? Why are we? When are we? There will be no philosophy that leads us to ourselves, about ourselves. 
because we can only each only know ourselves and speak of ourselves. So speaking for myself, which is a collection of folks inside of me, this one says, things are just grand, things are just fine. The world has arranged itself for the sun to be here now, to fall on my face and I feel the warmth. The earth is spun to the point where the summer is here and the flowers are blooming. What did I do to make all that happen? Maybe part of me did all of that and made that here because here I am under the sun enjoying the shade, enjoying the sun that I can take. All my love, peace. Follow your heart, always have fun. Simple ending dahlias. Beautiful flowers. Here comes the sun. We got the whole gang here. <laughs> kind of what it feels like to be inside of me. We've got some rocks, some sun, a rabbit. Some minerals, beautiful. Some wings, firefly. And then big old fat Buddha. <laughs> and this is uh, my succulent garden that is just, I don't even have words for what's happening to this guy. He's just filled himself with mandalas. It's very beautiful. Got some sage here growing a nice new sage bush. It's so nice. <clears throat> I just can't keep the succulents happy. This guy just blew up in a star pattern and he's sending out lots of little babies. Really beautiful. Again, <laughs> I can't stop my favorite. My favorite. Just following, you know, these flowers following the Fibonacci sequence to grow its leaves. I just, uh, just such an amazing plant. I always love my snapdragons. They're just beautiful, rich colors. I wonder if I can make pigments out of the leaves. Hmm. And then my other favorites are the Gerberas. They're just the daisies. They're just so beautiful. And uh, we have a new generation coming up. Look at that. They're just popping out of the inside. Just amazing. And the leaves are just... I've never had Gerberas that were so beautiful and really so rich and strong. Another dahlia. And then my last, oh, my last daisy here. Now I have to get a good look at this uh, daylily. It's almost gone. This is one that's about to fall off, just like the smelly goat. <laughs> but it just falls back into the soup and something else comes out of the mix, right? We're always reinventing ourselves, always changing ourselves. We've got some new growth here, a new generation coming out of the daylilies. Another boog. My, I love these bougainvilleas. They're really beautiful. And then uh, my climbing roses are just popping and climbing like me. Climbing the mountain to where? 